Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be showing you all the stock and max stats of the new cars coming to Asphalt 9 in the Fire and Lightning Season Update. Our first new car is a D-Class car, the Infinity Project Black S. This car has a slightly higher top speed than the BMW i8, but the acceleration and nitro are a little worse, and the handling is a lot worse, so I don't think this will be a new king. Our next new car is the Acura NSX GT3 Evo, which sort of looks like a buffed Pininfarina. It has pretty much the same top speed and handling. The acceleration is worse, but the nitro is quite a bit better. This car again doesn't really look like a new king to me since neither its top speed nor its acceleration is all that great for its class, but we'll have to see with some tests. Next up we have the new slowest A-class car. Yes, you heard that right. This car is slower than the GTR Nismo, but basically acts like a buffed version of that car, having ever so slightly lower top speed and acceleration, but quite a bit better handling in nitro. This is probably going to be like the Ford GT Mark II of A-class, being very slow but quite fun to drive, especially at higher stars. Our first new S-class car is the Inferno Automobili Inferno. Seems kind of redundant. Its max stats are extremely similar to those of the McLaren Speedtail, having slightly slower top speed and handling, but slightly better acceleration and nitro. It's of course not going to be a king, but it'll probably be one of those cars that starts up really fast and just can't handle. Eris used this car in one of his thumbnails a while back. For our final new car of the update, we have the Spark Owl, which is in Asphalt 8, and in Asphalt 9, it has the new highest acceleration in the game. Its top speed is again very similar to the likes of the McLaren Speedtail or the Fenner Supersport. However, its Nitro is second worst in all of Class S, only behind the Tryon, and the handling isn't too great either. I expect that this car will be fairly potent in multiplayer, but of course, it's not going to be a king because its speed is far too low. So these have been all the new cars coming to Asphalt 9 in the Fire and Lightning Season update. Let me know down in the comments what you're most excited for. When the update drops, I'll make another video talking about everything else that's new. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you've enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt and other games content. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!